Welcome back to the earliest reviews. Today's review is focused on Blind Spotting, Episode 3, entitled The Rule of Three. And the official synopsis of The Rule of Three is With his dad gone, Sean is beginning to spiral out of control. When a tough parenting moment is upon Ashley, Rainey, an attorney family, tries to introduce her to the rule of three. I would say this was a pretty good episode to me, and I didn't have a bad time watching it. Here's my review on the matter. So the episode begins with Sean watching John Wick when he's about to put guys on shirts and practicing karate at the same time. And then Sean gets his own dream segment where he is attacking ninjas that's wearing suits. He attacks all the ninjas, including the ones of his mom, Ashley, and his aunt, Trish. He proceeds to kick both of them in the legs, and he gets in trouble because of that. Meanwhile, Trish is about to go to the bank to hopefully secure a loan so that she can start her own strip club business. And she has her own crazy segment where she's getting money, flexing money, um, the bank tellers dancing and everything pretty energetic and the person that is interviewing her for her bank loan he doesn't give it to her and like he says he messes with her but he can't mess with her if you get what I'm saying and I actually understood what he was saying when he said that line because what she wants to do and how she described her business raised way too many flags so she decides to act out all ratchet and everything basically destroy his office before he has to call security um ashley on the other hand she's trying to figure out how to tell sean that his dad is still away and also trying to figure out how to maybe discipline him and then rainy brings up the rule of three which is basically where a kid gets disciplined only three times in his life to learn a lesson as a kid, as a teenager, and before they're about to turn 18, like in between. And Ashley, for some reason, is against beating kids. She tries to tell Miles about it, and even Miles knows what the rule of three is. And he brings up a good point of her beating somebody that had it coming when she was a teenager in high school. So she sounds like a hypocrite when it came to that, but then she decides to get more advice from the movers of Yorkie and Rob. And their advice is somewhat worse than what Rainy and Miles said. <laughs> kind of funny too, as Ashley finds the box of Miles's possession at his job before he went to jail and she found the grills. She decides to flex for the one time just because. So then back at the strip club where Trish works at, the owner Carl tells her that she has to work for the night because none of the workers, like two of the workers didn't come in. And you could tell that she's actually, she's actually not happy about that. I actually feel kind of bad of her because you can tell she did not want to have to do it. She wants to be someone that's all about their business, that's all boss status and everything. But she gets the job done, but then she comes back home all drunk and everything. And her and Ashley, they, they don't get along like always. And it seems as if it's about to have like a breaking point where... Ashley and Trish are about to fight. But before that happened, Rainy out of nowhere slaps the everlasting crap out of Trish in the face. And then it's all settled. It's all settled. Sean, um, Janelle, and Earl, who was taking care of Sean throughout the day, talking to him about punishments, and Earl bringing up the fact of his probation and how he's on double punishment. <laughs> They all see what happens, and Sean is basically scared of his life, knowing that he should not kick his mom, his grandma, or his aunt because of what would possibly happen. <laughs> so the episode ends with Earl and Sean just chilling outside, both with um, ankle monitors on, just talking. That is that. 
And I would say that this was a good episode to me. I didn't have a bad time watching it. And I would say my favorite moments of this episode would probably have to be the different segments that were involved. The ones with Trish just having a good time, thinking she's about to get this bank loan. And then Ashley trying to talk to the movers about what to do with her sons when it comes to discipline. Those were funny. I would say another moment that I really enjoyed would probably have to be Rainy slapping the everlasting crap out of Trish. Like she slapped her like that Friday segment when I think it was John Riverspoon's character that slapped his mom in the face. It was really funny. And she had it coming for how she's been acting among Ashley. And she even talked back to her mama too. So she had it coming. And I would say when it comes to the next few episodes, I don't know what to expect. I'm just going to keep watching. And this is the end of my review. So thanks for watching. And until next time, goodbye.